is running out to register to help for Kentucky families in need. Registration for the 2018 Kentucky's legal food frenzy ends in about two days. Kentucky Attorney General Andy Bashir and Kurt Ryber are both here to talk about the event. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to be with you, Ryan. So, Kurt, talk to us about the event. What happens? Who wins? Well, the, the, the kids are the ones that win because okay. when you think about it, we're feeding kids. Every dollar that we get in provides for eight pounds of food going out to the Kentucky families that are dealing with hunger each and every day. And you've been doing this for a few years now, right? This is our, our, our second full year with uh, Governor Bashir, and, you know, and we've been basically working uh, this effort with the law firms in Kentucky mm -hmm. and the Commonwealth, and they have really raised the challenge. And you know, who wouldn't for this beautiful cup? <laughs> So, Mr. Bashir, how did your office get involved in all right. that? Well, as Attorney General, I view my job as being the chief protector for Kentucky families. And one of the most important needs in protecting those families is having enough to eat. But we have one in five Kentucky children uh, that suffer from food insecurity, meaning they don't know where their next meal is coming from. We have families that every month that, that Kurt serves that, that have to make the decision between do I heat my home to keep my children warm or do I feed them? No family in this country, but especially in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, should ever have to make that decision. So we launched uh, this competition, which, you know, members of the legal community, we're, we're blessed. We're able to provide for security for our families, but it's time that we give back a little, that we make sure that every Kentucky child has a safe and, and, and stable environment, including enough to eat. Mr. Bashir, I hear a lot of passion in, in your voice as you talk about this. Why is that? I have a seven and an eight year old, and but for the grace of God, uh, they could be children who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Um, you meet and talk to the families that the food bank serves, and they're, they're just like all of the rest of us. They've just hit uh, a hard time, and we live in a land of plenty in Kentucky. We grow enough food to, to feed all uh, of our people, and when you look at um, one of the only miracles in all four books of the gospel. It's, it's Jesus feeding them the, the masses. So we have a true opportunity here to do what's right, and all it takes is just a little bit of effort. And the beauty part about it, Ryan, is that all of the food banks mm -hmm. in the state of Kentucky are going to be benefiting from this. So the money that's raised, the food that is raised, is going to stay right here in the Commonwealth and feed our neighbors because it's neighbors helping neighbors. Well, and every single amount that's raised here in Northern Kentucky or those that participate in the Cincinnati area will go to families right here, will help you distribute. Yes. And my last question, how can people contact you if they want more information? Well, then go to uh, the KentuckyFoodFrenzy.com and make a donation there. They can you know, go to the uh, Attorney General's website mm -hmm. and they can go to the Free Store Food Bank's website and get information about it because we want this to be a frenzy that is feeding people and making a difference in our community because together we can solve hunger. It sounds like an amazing thing that you all are doing. Thank you so much for being here. It's great Thank to you. Be with you.